Well, hello everyone. Today I'm making a tier list for all the seasons that I have played in Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed this video. So let's start with chapter 1 and then we will move on to chapter 2. And the first season is season 1, I think is this image. I didn't play this season. Actually, I did not play it uh, until chapter 2, season 2. It was only in this season when I started uh, to play in Fortnite. So all of the Fortnite seasons in chapter 1, I have not played them. So let's just drag them here. Didn't play this season. And season X. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6 and 10. Okay, okay, okay. So and chapter 2 season 2 I also have not played it and yeah the other ones I have played um, I am doing this because we are starting a new chapter and I will probably do this at the at the end of uh, or at the beginning of every new chapter so I can see how my opinion changes towards uh, every season that has has passed or had passed so let's start with uh, chapter 2 season 2 this was the season when I started playing Fortnite and I started playing in the last week or the last two weeks of the season and uh, from what I see uh, of people having fun and from my experience in this season I think it was a great season not the best not God but it was good it was great um, and it was really really fun. I remember uh, uh, going with my friends, grabbing all the mythics, all the mythic guns from Midas, from Brutus, and from Sky. Sky actually had a good scar. And yeah. Now we move to season three. This one was not a bad season, but for me it was average. Although it uh, for me it introduced a new type of gun, which was the the infantry rifle, I think, not the infantry rifle, not the infantry rifle, I'm sorry, it was just uh, a rifle, a normal rifle, something really, really close to snipers. And at the time, I, I have not played with this gun, and I really, really liked it. And we had a mythic uh, chug jug, and what more we had? I think Kit had a bunch of things. I, kit, I think Kit had. Uh, a charged shotgun and a shockwave launcher, shockwave grenade launcher. It was really really cool to kill Kit and uh, land at Catty Corner or um, the weather station. Even the weather station, if you did like the rotation from weather station to Catty Corner and then retail row, you would gather a bunch of loot in, the, in that season, which was really really good. But other than that, a lot of water. Um, People were really really sweaty because it was a uh, summer season, it was uh, in the middle of Covid and all that stuff. So I'm gonna put it in average. Now this is one of my favorites, not my favorite that I have ever played in Fortnite, but Chapter 2 Season 4 was probably one of my favorites because of Marvel. Because it was a full Marvel themed season and I really really love uh, Marvel and I hope they do a full Star Wars season in the near future and uh, if they eventually end up doing I think that will be my favorite but uh, let's give season 4 a great season not good not good but great it was the battle pass was really really cool the map had some cool uh, changes to it, such as the Stark Industries and a lot of other stuff. We saw the return of the pump, which in the hands of Sweats wasn't my favorite. Actually, I did not like the pump when this season uh, started and over the time I have learned how to use it because I thought the tactic the tactical shotgun was way better than the pump because it had the repetitiveness of the shots, you know. And now we get to my favorite season of them all, 
the Zero Point Season Chapter 2 Season 5. I'm gonna put it in here in God Season because first of all I really like collaborations in this game and it was one of the season with more collaborations. Second, it uh, introduced us to the gold, the gold and the NPCs and the ability to buy special weapons which uh, are the exotic weapons. This was the season where I feel like I have played the most. Like I, I used to, I remember I used to get off work, uh, get home, started playing immediately and play hours, like four and five hours straight until I eat something because I really really like this season and it has probably one of my favorite battle passes because of all that team, the hunters, the zero point uh, was exposed, the sentinelling was awesome although it didn't stay uh, a big it didn't uh, stay um, a lot of the time in the season. Most of the time was uh, turned down because of crashes or whatever. But I really, really enjoyed it. It was probably my favorite se season of Fortnite. And s uh, also because of something that I have been noticing uh, more and more. They are trying to introduce us to new story in... Uh, Fortnite seasons. For example, we had the zero point exposed, then John Z turned the, uh, his back on IO, and then uh, the primal season came, which didn't have a lot of st uh, a lot of story, and then the aliens came, destroyed the zero point, then the cube queen came, and all that. And then now that we are in chapter three, season one, uh, we have seen uh, what uh, Epic can do in terms of events, in terms of telling story through trailers and through small cutscenes and I think they should do that more often because it's something that I really really like, it's the lore and story of Fortnite. Now we come from the best to the worst season of Fortnite, from my opinion of course. Uh, it, it wasn't a bad season, but it was a bad season. Because it had a lot of problems, especially with, with introducing uh, crafting. I, I don't think the crafting was introduced the right way, but then uh, with the next uh, season it, it got way better. Because instead of upgrading weapons, you should be able to sidegrade them and choose uh, what type of weapon you want, such as SMGs, uh, shotguns and rifles, whatever. And yeah, over other than that, the there are some some place there were some places in the map which I couldn't build, such as Spire, uh, Bunny Bony Burps, and all that. But uh, uh, the the battle pass wasn't really that bad. Uh, I did I don't I didn't like Tarana. Raz was really really cool. Lara Croft was really really cool. I really loved uh, Jonesy because it was an essential part of. Um, the Fortnite story, the the chicken uh, skin, uh, it was okay, it was a uh, cool skin, funny and all that, uh, Spire skin, it was okay, I didn't like it, it has too many effects for me, and the Raven skin, is, uh, Raven skin, it was an okay skin, although it had uh, some comic accurate styles, uh, it didn't make up for what I wanted. So now, we, st we reach the season 7. Chapter 2 Season 7 For me this, this was a great season. Why? Because the, the battle pass it was okay. We got Sloan in the battle pass which was a story uh, skin. A skin that is part of the story. It's the leader of the IO and all that. We In this uh, in invasion we started to have more uh, quests and uh, missions and challenges focused towards the story of the of, of Fortnite, the Fortnite story, the Fortnite lore because we, we had a bunch of quests, do this, do that, you know and basically the plan of Sloan to to destroy the mothership was to put some bombs in the in the in the track the queen, hide some bombs and then explode the spaceship 
from the inside out. It was what happened. Then they found the mole and all that. But uh, it for me, it seemed like it was a great season. Not it was not bad. It was not good, and it, it has some positive ex aspects of it. New guns such as the railgun, the IO rifle, and the and what is the other one? The the thing that detects enemies. That those three new additions to the game, I think they were really cool because they added something new, something fresh. And at the time, I think we really needed that. And now the last season of chapter 2. I think this season was a good season. Again, it wasn't bad, it wasn't uh, good, it was a normal season, it wasn't the best, but it was a normal season. I really enjoyed the fact that we had to put some colors in the fish stick skin, and then we had the Carnage collaboration, and then we had some cool skins like Charlotte, which was a uh, skin created by a member of the community we had core which was uh, which had a pretty cool story simple but pretty cool i wish they had they went more focused on the core story because it seemed like he was she was an agent uh, she worked uh, contracted by the io and then torin of course who wanted to just kill some cube monsters i think she was a hunter uh, so what do i think about this season it was a good season, because it felt like it was a continuation of the invasion season. Uh, with all with the Sloan, with the Sloan uh, plan in progress, the mothership was blown up, and at the middle of the map we got to see Cube Town, which was the place where the Cube Queen was saving up energy and was trying to basically destroy this island island that's why it's called the last reality so yeah i think this is um, my tier list of chapter two and i think that's it I, there's not much else there's not much things to say there's a lot there are a lot of lots of seasons that i didn't play I wish I had played them, but I didn't have a PlayStation 4 nor a good computer to play them. And I basically I did not have any ac access to play the game uh, in those times. But yeah, thanks for watching. This is my tier list. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.